Brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. All right, welcome back, everyone. Dressing or stuffing, whatever it is you call it, I call it dressing. This is a traditional side for side dish for the holidays. Our Jacob Dickey is in the kitchen cooking up a storm, and you're making a a stuffing of sorts, right? That's right. Yeah, this was a little bit different than maybe the one you're used to, but it's mm -hmm. got lots of good fall flavor in there. It is a cranberry sausage apple bacon stuffing. Cranberry or sausage apple. Dressing. Yeah, okay. we mix in the uh, seasonings that we've got for it too. The flavors are just, oh, there you are. All right. To die for. So, so. this is one of those that's going to have quite a few ingredients. It is, yes, okay. but it's really easy to do. We just throw it in there, forget mm -hmm. about it. And this is great for the holidays too because, uh, you know, Thanksgiving got a lot of dishes to cook if you've got a big family and like there mine. Are, a lot of yes. coming. So we can put it in there, forget about it, and do our other things and come back and have this perfect dressing. 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 We'll call or it dressing. Stuffing, we'll whatever you want to call it. So, first, tell us what we need because there are quite a few things. Yeah, here. there really are. So, uh, we'll start down here in the front. And uh, what I've got is I've got some sausage, so a pound of sausage. And just for ease and convenience, at Kroger, actually, I saw in the uh, in the sausage where the meats are in the back, they've mm -hmm. got some pre cooked sausage from, I think it was Jimmy Dean's. Never seen I bought, that. I bought one that was turkey and one that was pork with bacon. That's already crumbled. And it's already crumbled for you. It's easy to go, so put it in there and it's good. Uh, and then to go with that, of course, we're going to add more bacon, bacon here because you can't okay. ever get enough bacon with that there. So you've got pork and pork and pork. There pork, you go. Pork, well, pork. well one right. of them's turkey, that's so right. that's okay. Uh, we've got uh, some onion here, some celery, and those are all diced up. Okay. And uh, I used my, my new blender that I was t we've talked about. Mm -hmm. We'll have to bring that out sometime. I took some apples. I took a medium golden delicious and I took a medium Fuji apple and okay. I diced them up. And you can dice them smaller than that if you want to. Uh, but these ingredients here are, are, are uh, really easy and simple to do. So if we can. Squeeze that in the shot there. So there cube we them go. up. There we go. We've got that. And those are our main ingredients. All right. Uh, and then we've got some shredded carrots. Just to add a little color to it. Um, your favorite. Craisins. Craisins. My got favorite those. addition to anything. And then my seasonings I've got is I've got a little bit of rosemary, parsley, and then some sage. And that with the apple is going to really be a good flavor for okay. that. Of course, the bacon. We'll finish with the butter. And we'll finish then with some chicken broth there. And of course, then finally, the important step. You know, a lot right of people right. say you can do this, you know, homemade if mm -hmm. you want to, but. Kroger with salad. <laughs> yeah. I, I got I, someone, or one of the production staff. extra work. Was, yeah, one of the production staff is giving me a little bit, bit of heck about that. But this here is, uh, they bought, sell it at Kroger. I saw it by the uh, cheese display. So they mm -hmm. had those big bag of, of the croutons, the, the mm -hmm. unseasoned croutons. So. so one thing I noticed right away is that you have all these ingredients. And sometimes you have a big bowl that you mix everything. So we're going to start everything in we're the crock pot. We're going to start everything in okay. the crock pot. And it's going to be a real quick okay. boom, boom, boom. So, of course, we start with Miss Pam, our friend Miss Pam. She's mm -hmm. going to grease things up for us in the crock pot there. I'm just going to run down the lines and start pouring on it. We've all got right. my sausage. All your sausage that you can buy pre crumbled. That's right, onion. yeah. Okay. Then we'll put onion. My onion in there. All right. And I'll let that go on top. Did you dice those yourself? Say it again. Did you dice those yourself? I use my blender, my little blender. Oh, the blender, blender that's that. right, okay. With also there. with the celery. Celery, I chopped out myself. Now, that probably is the one thing I personally would leave out. I'm not a big celery person. If there's celery in something, I can taste it, you know. That's true, yeah. So we're going to put those apples in there, too. Okay. And then I'm going to Carrots. Just carrots, drop it on in. Okay. Your favorite? The craisins. The craisins. It's hard for me to believe with this beginning that this is going to be stuffing or dressing. So. That's right. But uh, I trust you. So I've got that in there, and uh, I'm going to save my bacon and my croutons for last. Here. Okay. I'm just going to put my seasonings on now to help that blend in. So there goes my sage, about two tablespoons of that. All right. A little bit of rosemary. Okay. Dump it on in. What's that? And uh, then we're going to put our parsley in. Okay. And there's all the color that we've got. What I'm going to do then is in my crock pot, I'll kind of mix this up just a little bit okay. to help stir things. Um, and I'm just going to fill the top of it then all the way up to the top where that crock pot would be with my breadcrumbs. Oh, breadcrumbs are next. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put those in. And I'm just going to fill that. It'll get nice and full. Uh, I had a bigger crock pot for the, the first one I did, but this one's a little smaller, and that's okay. Uh, there's going to be plenty of space in there. Notice I fit most of that bag in. I think of the camera, you can kind of see it starting to fill up nicely there Yeah. into the top. So what I'll do then is I'd carefully mix this up just a little bit. Uh, so you, know, you start to get that mixed in, but if I don't get it all the way, that's not a problem. Right. Towards the end, those breadcrumbs will really start to uh, get a little soggy and delicious, sure, and yeah. that'll mix a little better for us. So I'm going to finish with my bacon right on top because that's going to really help that flavor. You're going to put the whole thing of bacon. I'm putting the whole, the whole thing of bacon in. All it right. cannot go wrong with bacon. <laughs> Agreed. And then I'll take my last two bits. One is a t uh, t uh, half a stick of butter, okay. melted, and I'm just going to drizzle that on mm -hmm. like that. Chicken broth. And pour my broth. And once I do that then, once I get about two cups of broth, about half of this big container worth, 
on top there to give it some nice moisture. I cook it low and slow for about four hours or so. Check it, maybe stir it every now and then, okay. and it'll be ready to go. And that's that. I think we're ready to dish it too. If I you want. think so. You want to yeah. grab that bowl there with that uh, ladle in it. Okay. And uh, you want to start serving so in there. We'll show you. Again, people. this can be either a you can stuff it in your turkey. I that's guess, right. If you yeah. Want, or it could be on the side after you've got it all carved up and yep. whatnot. So uh, yeah, you could you could. Uh, uh, my family will do sliced turkey ahead of time, um, and so we may not roast the whole bird, but uh, if we do, you can yeah, definitely put this in there right. uh, as we go. So this definitely goes into the stuffing category because it's not cornbread per se. So yeah. is this another so, one. There we go. Yep. Put that dish there, and I'll, you can see the color in here in the mm -hmm. the camera. Um, it's got nice color. It looks good. And it almost uh, is a one dish meal, Jacob, because you've got all this meat in here, you know. You know, that's very true, yes. But, There's a lot um, of good flavors in there. We're going to take a quick stuff. break and come back uh, and taste and reminisce also reminisce, in a moment. Right. Stay with us. <laughs> all right, we are back with the cranberry, apple, bacon, sausage, stuffing, or dressing, and it's really very good. Um, like, I think you could eat this outside of the Thanksgiving You're right. season. You could. You it's could. like you've you got good. meat in here, you got veggies in here, you got a little fruit in there. All you just, you know, you don't need anything else. It's a one dish meal. So, eating this and lots of other things over the last year, we have been with you, Jacob. Really it's have. been and a I year since we every, started cooking up a storm. That's right. A year ago this month, was it? Mm -hmm. And uh, we had lots of fun. So, this is the, one of my favorites here. This is the first picture <laughs> that we have. And I think it's so telling. We made that veggie beef stew a year ago for the first time. No one looks like he or she knows what she's doing. I, I am very confused. <laughs> You're getting ready thinking, what are we getting ourselves into? But mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite pictures there from that. And as we go through here, there's some pictures from behind the scenes. I know our, our producer has been, she's been really supportive in helping us with that there. And uh, lots of great memories you and we I We like here. to pose, too. Uh, we do, Not yeah. all of and, them are candid. And we like to eat also. We, <laughs> we do like to eat. always ate some good food. Uh, I think one of my favorites, though, is right here, Mama Dickie coming up. Yes. And it's always great when Mama Dickie And Dickie's we've actually up. been in Mama Dickie's vicariously in her kitchen as we well. Have. You took the cameras yeah, there's there. Yeah, on the porch segment. I think we may sneak one in here around the holidays because she talked about some of the uh, holiday fun. But We did some desserts. She brought? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably my favorite recipe that we've had. This is the and cheesecake that won your dad's heart, is that right? That's exactly right, mm -hmm. man catching cheesecake. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's a, a made that a little bit bigger, but it's fun to have Mama Dickie. It's fun to be here. It's been a great year of, of recipes, of course. All of the recipes that we've done, have we had a bad recipe? I don't think so. I, I think, think everybody's so enjoyed every one of them. You even indulged me once and let me make something. The That's right. Salad. Oh, I remember that. That was so fun. And just a little bit of sneak peek for our Thanksgiving special. The rest of our meteorologists on staff are also pretty handy in the kitchen, so we're going to have a little special Thanksgiving uh, cooking segment, an uh, entire show of meteorologists cooking up a storm. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Thanks. Always had to have cool. you in here. We'll see you back here tomorrow, everybody.